Hi, this is Dr. Johnny Trong. Um, you know, today's video is about um, arm and uh, leg pain. You see, we use our arms, our shoulders, our hands, our extremities really to do a lot of things. And in order to pick up our, our iPhone, in order to type on a keyboard, we really need our arms and our shoulders and our hands to function properly. And of course, we need our legs as well. We need our leg, our knees, our feet to be able to carry our body and to allow us to go from point A to point B. And so those legs, if, I mean, imagine if you were living in chronic pain with, with uh, you know, shooting pain from your buttocks all the way down to your feet, called sciatica pain, um, how would you be able to walk? You know, it would be really difficult. Or let's say you have chronic knee pain, it would be really difficult. But we utilize our, our extremities quite a bit, our legs and our arms, we use it almost on a you know, obviously on a daily basis, like just to get things do, uh, moving around. So uh, what are some of the um, things that can cause problems for our extremities? Um, one of them being sports injuries. I mean, there's a lot of athletes out there that um, are training really hard and they're overtraining. And, you know, just by throwing a ball too hard, you can um, really um, mess up your arms and mess up your shoulders. And and that could lead to you know chronic problems for a very long time and of course hiking you know something as simple as leisurely as hiking can cause problems too let's say you you're, you're hiking and you didn't pay attention and you, you trip over a rock and you land on your knees and you get you know knee pain and this knee pain doesn't go away for a very long time so and then of course another uh, uh, problem area that I can see is also posture when your posture is off, I'll give you an example. Let's say your head is tilted just slightly to one side. You can probably see this on your driver's license or you can look in a mirror, but you can see that if your head tilts even slightly to one side, you know, and your shoulders are going to try to compensate for that. It's gonna to try to uh, help with the neck. So the shoulder will slump down to help the head go back to center. And so having poor posture can, can lead to some uh, injuries to extremities as well because then you have shoulder problems which then continue down to your arms and down into your hands and it can cause weakness of the hands it can lead to a condition called carpal tunnel potentially um, and then of course um, you know whenever we have pain let's say we have a uh, knee pain or arm pain or shoulder pain what are some of the things we resort to right off the bat we think about Tylenol we think about Advil right over-the-counter easily accessible painkillers that we take and but here's the thing that's only treating symptoms and not only are you treating symptoms it it it's actually trading that symptom for another problem like potentially kidney problems or even liver problems because Tylenol is is known to be highly toxic to the liver and of course Advil is can have detrimental effects um, to the kidneys. In fact, there was one article that uh, talked about how taking Advil on a regular chronic basis can lead, can cause uh, potentially uh, kidney failure uh, or increase the rate of kidney failure by 800%. So it's a really, um, I mean, it, it's, it's a, it should be a temporary fix. Uh, and uh, really the idea is to get to the underlying cause of why you have these extremity problems like sciatica or shoulder pain or arm pain or, or you know, leg pain. And so what I, what I offer is I offer something called upper cervical chiropractic. So upper cervical chiropractic, what it is, is it deals with um, the brainstem. Now it's very important to understand that your body is constantly getting healing messages from your brain through the brain stem and all through all parts of your body and the, there is two bones that's that surround the brain stem uh, predominantly it's the c1 vertebra which is called the atlas and c2 which is called the at access uh, bone those two bones surround the brain stem and when they slip out of alignment due to trauma due to birth trauma due to poor posture it can limit how the brain sends healing messages to the body. So when I, I find that my patients, especially my 26 year old um, runner who had knee pain, um, I, I find that um, when, when, 
when they have knee pain, um, unfortunately, it's because their body's out of balance. And because they're out of balance, they're going to favor one side more. In fact, I had a runner who she had 30 pounds more weight on the right knee, and it caused a, a, an accelerated uh, degeneration of the knees on the right side. Eventually, unfortunately, um, she had to have surgery for it. So um, getting back to the top two bones in your neck, by freeing up that, bone, that uh, nerve pressure on the brain stem, it allows the brain to connect with the body, he sending healing messages, and of course, allowing the, the um, atlas to hold the, the, the skull at a more level and balanced um, um, state, allowing the posture to improve and uh, helping you to um, reduce stress on the spine, which then turns into less um, you know, probability or chances of um, stresses on the nerves that, that affect your shoulders, your arms, your hands. And of course, if the posture is correct, the hips are level, then that also takes stress off the nerves that go down your legs, your buttocks. A lot of times I find that patients who have sciatic pain, it's because their body's out of balance, their posture's out of balance, um, especially in the hips. And by getting the neck aligned, that seems to help with uh, reducing stress on the sciatic nerve that affects leg pain. So um, if you're, you'd like to know more about upper cervical chiropractic, feel, feel free to visit my website at drtrong.com, doctor spelled out, uh, T-R-U-O-N-G.com. And um, feel free to call my office uh, with any questions. We do offer a free consultation and screening if you're interested in finding more about whether this care is right for you. Thank you for listening and you have a wonderful day.